1997, the wheelhouse module leaves the Point Hope shipyard in Victoria. Vancouver's Pier 94, a few days later, the immense command center bridge of the ship is lifted into place by Apex Industrial Moving. They came in and they set up a jig, both using the existing structure in the building and some temporary structure and stiffening on the unit itself. That unit was then lifted right straight up from the floor up to the beam rafters. From there, it was transported using the dolly system and the crane system forward in the building and lowered onto the ship. Traditionally in shipbuilding, you're working a lot outside. Here, all of the construction is under one roof. It's done all inside the building, so it's very comfortable. The facility that's been established here at CFI uh, is one of the best in the world. It may well be the best for constructions of, of vessels of this type. For Lindsay Doherty, CFI's quality assurance manager, the goal is to ensure that all project partners work as a team to ensure the job gets done right at Pier 94. The number one objective for our project is to deliver uh, a product to our owners, BC Ferries, with zero defects. And uh, with our modular construction, that goes right back to the, the structural stage. Um, anything that comes into our facility is pre-inspected by ourselves uh, and our classification society. And zero defects coming in the door makes a downtime with fit-up and into the next stage that much quicker. The bottom line is it cuts down on rework at a later stage where it costs more money. And if we can find it where it's easily fixed, and then the goal is once you identify the problem, how do we train the people to eliminate the problem totally? One of the three Vancouver Island shipyards contracted to participate in the project, Ramsey Machine Works, located in Sydney near Victoria, fabricates the structural modules. We've had to double the capacity of our plant and uh, almost uh, increase our employment by 100% as well. We have 50 employees working uh, around the clock building uh, modules for this project. We're building the uh, main deck and uh, upper vehicle decks as well as all the side panels, the actual outside uh, shell of the ship. We're working within tolerances of plus or minus one millimeter. And with the uh, aluminum and what aluminum does and shrinkages and all that sort of thing, we felt that jigs were the only way that we could get consistent repeatability throughout uh, the three ship program. The welding cove is very, very critical and extreme. It's equivalent to the aircraft industry. So in terms of quality, we had to shoot for the sky, and, and we've actually uh, been able to achieve that quality. When completed, the modules are shipped out by truck. Local roads are closed to traffic as a rather oversized vehicle load makes its way to Pat Bay near the Victoria Airport. And then on to CFI's North Vancouver facility by barge. The CFI offices coordinate all aspects of the vessel's assembly. Ongoing communication between the project's design team and construction crews is key to improving quality and productivity. From the offices of CFI, a steady stream of technical data is fed to project partners. The drawings that leave this office literally go into the welder's hands and the fitter's hands and the machinist's hands. So everything that leaves here is an instruction for fabrication, for construction, for assembly. So as you can imagine, it's not just drawing pretty pictures anymore. It has to work. It has to be um, cost effective for construction. It has to be easy to build. Um, so the skill level is not just design, but also 
an understanding of, of how a welder fits into a space to do a weld, um, how reasonable it is to obtain a certain alignment criteria. And generally, the feedback w we get from the shop floor is, can you make it easy for us? We don't have any three-foot welders. We, we have to get a fully grown man in here. In some respects, the first ship is, is the ship where we can get a lot of the problems in construction ironed out and, and therefore ship two and three go very smoothly. BC Ferries has found that the operational people have, can contribute a great deal to the building of the project, saving money, time, and that instead of having to redo things at a later date. And we're also compiling a lot of the, the documentation, the actual technical man manuals that are required on the vessel f to comply with the high-speed craft code. Crews who had never worked on aluminum construction on such a large scale faced many logistical challenges. We were going to build the stern ramp first because we knew there'd be a long learning curve on the aluminum. But at the time, there was a bunch of revisions coming through with the stern ramp, which is a smaller of the two. So we ended up starting with the big one. The bow ramp, we had a lot of learning to do, a lot of difficulty with heavy plate. There was some three inch plate on it that gave us a lot of trouble in welding. By the time we finished the bow ramp and got to the stern ramp, it went like clockwork. <laughs> Along the North Vancouver waterfront, hull and deck assembly is underway at Vancouver Shipyard, BC's largest. We are responsible for the fabrication and uh, assembly of the twin hulls up to the main car deck. We're also involved in the installation of the machinery. Driven by four 8,700 horsepower MTU diesel engines supplied by Detroit Diesel Allison, British Columbia, the Pacificat's water jet propulsion system was selected on the basis of efficiency and economy. By going with medium speed diesels and water jets, we are really using what is the state of the art and it's all conventional technology and it's economical technology. The diesel engine gives the lowest operating cost uh, of any propulsion system in existence today. The inlet ducts for the water jets are the most highly stressed area on the ship. In addition to it being highly stressed, it's, it's also subject to very high water velocities. And because of that, the shape is, is absolutely critical. And if we don't build it exactly as they've specified, then we can see losses in, in performance of the vessel. So it's by far the most important portion of the ship. We have a level platform which is the main deck and we can use that to restrain the structure and build up. Uh, that allows us to maintain our plumb lines and uh, the, the, the dimensional control of the vessel. The